Okay, guys, so I thought I'll just share um, something with you why you shouldn't throw your old laptop. So this is one one of the laptop, actually my sister's, and it suddenly stopped working. Um, so I guess the first point for me to start was with the power circuit. So here's the input, 12 volts, and it comes over here, and then there are these two diodes. One is for the battery, and the other is, I guess, for the motherboard itself, the circuit. And they were both fried. How did I know? Um, just measure, these are diodes. And if you measure the forward resistance, um, the back resistance. So for, normally for a normal diode, the resistance should be infinite. Uh, the backward resistance, the forward resistance should be very low, like in milliohms. So as soon as I found out that, that was the case, um, I said, okay, well then I need a diode. And these are SMB diodes. The original one here was 0805, and I think the one I got is a little bigger than that. So what I did is I had another laptop that was just lying around and was broken. So what I did is I found uh, where's the power. Well, I f there were two places that I attacked. So this is the battery charging place, and I figured out where is the charging circuit is just by following the lines. So one diode was here, so I took one diode from here. And then the other diode, if I can find the charging port, I'm sure I saw it somewhere. I promise. Anyways, it's here. Um, anyway, so the other, oh, it's here. And this is where I took the other diode from. And I mean, one thing you can just look at, see these lines, how thick they are. This kind of tells you that these diodes can take a lot of current in the forward direction. And the thing is they prevent your power adapter from uh, any uh, damage. So in case something goes backwards, it won't go because the diode is going to prevent, prevent that from happening. That's why maybe in the other Samsung laptop where I'm fixing the problem, this is the Samsung one. The the um, diode blue. Now, as I said, you know what, I'm going to pick the diode. You want to make sure you get your polarities right. So the, as you can see, here's the diode that I took from the other laptop. If I can just get it up properly oriented this, this guy is just not gonna come on dude these things are very so there you go so as you can see how oh, this side is marked why that's the cathode or the negative direction so I have to be has to be installed this way actually I had it right. So this is the positive side, this is the negative side. Okay, so I'm going to take this and put it here. Where it go? Like that. Now, as you can see, as I said, the, the footprint for the original diode was 0805. These are, I think, a bit bigger. So what I did is I just did some cheap trick and I just put a, um, a bare uh, wire like that and then I soldered that and then the, and soldered diet on top of that. As you can see the other one I've done. Let me get my magnifying deal off you. So you guys can see what I'm talking about. So here. I don't 
one of uh, you guys can see but here yeah, that's the story so yeah don't throw away your old laptops you can use them for parts I mean the, the other thing I found my laptop the old one was this OLED not a fairly neat OLED I guess here's the processor to drive it and then here's the crystal where's the probably the power circuit I don't know I gotta figure that out <clears throat> so yeah